Welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology and we'll be looking at some advanced file management. Now, what is it that we need to do in order to manage our files? Now, you need to understand that there are different file types. Now, file types identifies the type of file or format and it's automatically updated. It also determines which program will open the type of file by default. Now, if I can simply show you here on my screen, I have different file types here, and you can see each file type has a unique file extension as well as a unique file icon. Now, more management of files, we can look at properties. Now, properties are your file name, size, as well as date modified and other more. Now, with this picture here, it can allow us to actually view more details of our file properties. As you can see there, the descriptions as well as the origin. Then we have file attributes. Now, file attributes are your properties of a file that can be set such as read-only as well as hidden. Now, this picture here will show you on your file properties under general, you can actually see your read-only as well as hidden. Moving on to metadata. Now, metadata is basically some author title properties that are additional as well as detailed data that is stored about a file that actually describes the contents of the file. Now let's look at the difference between import and export. Import is getting data in and export is getting data out. Now this process allows one to transfer one application to another application. Now when you look at some more management of files, you also have the option called search. Now this option is a facility that helps one to find files in storage devices by using a search criteria. Now, lastly, we look at the conversion of files. Now, conversion is changing a document from one file type to another. Now, this can be done because of, say, for example, your document cannot open properly in that specific file type, or there was a change in file extensions, or you want to convert a document to HTML and you can simply do this by going to file save as on your document and then on the option where it says save type you can then choose a different file extension and that is it for our lesson for today hope you enjoyed we'll see you next time